All right, Zoe, let's check out some of your GS free scan. Uh, watch it in regular motion, and then we'll um, slow it down. Should we move down to the lifter? Does everyone want to wish Zoe good luck on her run? Good luck, Zoe! Thank you! All right, let's see it. Pretty good skin, Zoe. Let's check it out a little slower here. You know, one thing that's really important in skiing, whether it's slalom or GS, is maintaining a consistent width throughout the turn and transition. You know, kind of more shoulder width. Um, you obviously let your feet and legs get very close together, so it's kind of hard to um, really get any type of a uh, nice high edge angle um, there when you do that. Now, you know, really from this position here, it's a decent width. Just roll them over. But instead, you kind of, your left leg now, you drive that knee in, but leave the other one flat. So that's why they kind of, all of a sudden, legs become together and why you probably diverge. Um, to regain the width, um, roll them both up. That inside foot obviously has weight on it. You can see it's relatively fl uh, quite flat. It is flat. Um, we want to get little toe down on the inside foot, big toe down on the outside. So you can see a little divergence there. He's going to commit to the outside ski. You can do it. Nice pole plant. But we can see that, that divergence of kind of cheating with the inside ski. Um, you know, roll them both up, stand on that outside ski. Really, there's no way of getting their feet fully off from beneath us unless we roll the inside one up. If it's kind of flat, then we can't really move the hip to the inside very well. Although we've, we've talked about this, your, your hands, well, I do like the active motion. I do like the fact that you bring them, you're wider in the balance. It's sort of a, it's more like a clapping motion for yourself there. Um, in the turn, just drive them forward without fully bringing them almost together. You still kind of see a little divergence going there. Just kind of roll them both up, commit to the outside, pressure the outside ski. Obviously, you see their legs get pretty close together. Good turns, but you know, they could be better for sure. That's a better width on that side. You came in here, that's good width. Kind of rolled them up, less divergence there for sure. You know, we'd like to see just maybe a hair more of the inside ski on edge, but that's a good turn. So you, you can do it, absolutely. And you like to jump. Right here, I would have loved to see you just take both ankles, roll them up in that position with that width, roll both knees in, and then move the hip to the inside. Um, but you kind of let, you move the outside, your left knee in, but left the other one kind of flat, got the legs together, and diverged, and regained some width through that divergence.
All right, so pretty good skin, like we said. Um, let's see, Iggy's having a race there. Look at that guy. He's racing you, I think. It's a sweet-looking tuck. Um, but let's just try to make sure we commit to the outside ski, roll both skis up on, on edge, drive the inside knee, pressure the outside ski. Um, and that should help.